Precision is measurable. Chorn. Mess- und Spannmittel. Chorn 3D Tester. We make it small. Adjusting run out. Clamp the 3D tester into a tool holder. Move dial gauge to the probe sphere. Find the highest and lowest measurement point. Adjust the 3D tester with two adjustment screws to the center position. Repeat the procedure until the desired runout is achieved. Make sure that all adjustment screws are tightened with a maximum torque of 2 newton meters. Radial probing. Insert the 3D tester into the spindle. Cut off the coolant supply and turn off the spindle. Please make sure that probing is exactly perpendicular, otherwise measurement failures may occur. Move the 3D tester carefully to the edge of the workpiece until the large indicator starts moving. Continue until both indicators show exactly zero. In this position, the symmetry axis of the spindle is exactly positioned to the workpiece edge. Axial probing. Determine the 3D tester reference length with a presetting device. Please note that 1.5 millimeters must be subtracted from this length. Insert the 3D tester into the spindle. Cut off the coolant supply and turn off the spindle. Please make sure that probing is exactly perpendicular, otherwise measurement failures may occur. Move the 3D tester carefully towards the workpiece surface until the large indicator starts moving. Continue until both indicators show exactly zero. Now the spindle is located at the height of the determined reference length above the workpiece. Changing of probe tips. Unscrew the probe tip manually. If needed, the probe tip can be released easily with a small plier. Unscrew the probe tip entirely and make sure that the threaded pin is unscrewed as well. Screw in the new probe tip and tighten manually. Attention, please check run out. 